Changes to companies' law to help prevent the New Zealand system being exploited are in the pipeline. Investigative journalist Nikki Hager has identified an Auckland company, Denton Morell, is helping to manage a network of New Zealand registered companies and trusts for clients which may be used by international money launderers. There is no evidence either Denton Morell or its director were aware of allegations of money laundering by Azerbaijan linked companies. However, Internal Affairs says it will meet the sole director, Matthew Butterfield, next week to discuss the issues raised in the story. It says a desk based review in 2015 found the company to be compliant with anti money laundering laws, but it will now conduct an on site inspection to see how Denton Morell is meeting its obligations. Mr Butterfield has declined to comment. Very welcome to call us in on Checkpoint if you'd like to. The Commerce Minister Chris Fa'afoy told our political editor Jane Patterson that officials have now been working on a law change for some time. We're going to be starting a process to increase the transparency around beneficial ownership of companies so we can get to the bottom of who actually uh, is the beneficial owner of the company. I think uh, in this instance the way that the system is set up it hasn't allowed that. So what actually needs to happen to make that system more transparent? I think um, in plain English making sure you know exactly who is uh, the beneficial owner of a company. I think what you've seen in the past is law changes to ensure that um, there is uh, a New Zealand owner or director um, registered against the company but as we've seen in this case that doesn't tell you exactly who was behind the company who might be the beneficial owner. Uh, we've been working with officials for some months now to get to a stage where we can put that issue out to the public to ask for submissions to see how we might tackle exactly how we go about that to increase the transparency for who is behind the company. Does this create a reputational concern for New Zealand in terms of the company law situation at the moment? I think we've actually got a pretty good name, but what I think it does highlight is we have to be vigilant. Change will obviously made around trust, but um, if things pop up in new ways of taking advantages of systems that do have good reputations around the world do eventuate, uh, we've got to make sure that the system can move with it to make sure it, it is uh, minimised as much as possible. Uh, beneficial ownership uh, and knowing who's behind those companies, um, who is actually running them and who is actually getting the benefit of them, uh, in, this, in this case, um, I think would be useful, uh, which is why we've got that process um, getting underway at the end of next month. That's the Commerce Minister Chris Farfoy speaking to our political editor Jane Patterson.